It doesn't much matter what you say on the telephone. The telephone as a service is a huge environment. And that is the media. And the environment affects everybody. What you say on the telephone affects very few. And the same with radio or any other medium. What you print is nothing compared to the effect of the printed word. The printed word sets up a paradigm, a structure of awareness which affects everybody in very, very drastic ways and it doesn't very much matter what you print as long as you go on with that form of activity. So what do you suggest as alternatives that we offer instead of the search for identity through violence? Dialogue. The uh, alternative to violence is dialogue, which is a kind of encounter interface with other people and situations. Um, but yes, we, we live in a world in which we have so much power uh, in the old days, you could fire a, pull a trigger on a revolver and hurt people. <clears throat> but today, when you trigger these vast media that we use, you are manipulating entire populations. These are two of my great loves, and so I assume uh being monogamous, they must be one love. So how to build intellectual bridges between these two concerns which seem so different. As far as people and machines are concerned, it was Ludwig von Bertalanffy, I think, who said, people are not machines, but in every opportunity where they are allowed to behave like machines, they will so behave. And certainly the technology of cybernetics is a consciousness expanding technology. It expands a different area of consciousness. That's how we all should live, is off-grid and as deeply wired into the collectivity as we can be so that we can participate in, the, in building the collective consensus for a human uh, and humane future. Most of them are talking to someone or texting as they move through they move through the city. People today aren't alone. Uh, solitude solitude has, has become obsolete. They may be physically alone, but they're not actually well, alone. They're connected to something yeah, or someone all the time. I, I don't I actually don't I think that, you know, it's the distinction between the physical and the, the virtual that I'm questioning. Someone who grows up constantly on the phone with, with their friends as they're on, on the move doesn't experience some very fundamental and basic element of, of solitude that all of us previously took, took for granted. Something's changing fundamentally, and the most fundamental changes tend to be invisible to us as, as we go through. Thank you.